When I was 19, two special things happened to me. One is I started to make pottery. I learned how to do that from a special family in Santa Clara, the Naranjos. But the downside was that it was drying my hands up really bad. And so I would go to my grandma's and use her cream that she had made my whole life. I learned how to make pottery the same year that I learned how to cure the dry cracks that making pottery gives your hands. So those two things have been with me, you know, most of my working life. The pottery and the formulation of uh, skin products. And that's what brings me out here into the fields to look for fresh herbs that I can use in, in some way to enhance the lives of my family and my neighbors. This is scorpion weed. It's a remedio, and uh, once it gets past the flowering stage, it's ready, and uh, you can cook it into a tea uh, or an oil to treat the skin for itchiness. That's a good one. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Oh, good. That's primrose. It's just starting. That will spread, and that's good for the skin as well. We're finding a lot of skin care stuff today. Ooh, wow. This is Mormon tea, and it's unusual because I've, in all my hikes, I never saw Mormon tea until recently. And now you can see how it's spreading. And um, I think herbs come into communities as needed. I think they move around. I think they do uh, make an appearance for a reason. And I think mostly the herbs come to help. This is ephedra, Mormon tea is ephedra. It's used to quicken the heartbeat and the respiration of a person to get more flush in the body, to get more circul circulatory action going. And it can be used in um, small amounts for a limited amount of time. Let's say you need to get up and running. You need to kick, kind of kickstart your body. Uh, maybe in January, February, March, you're doing a spring cleaning. This would be useful as a tea and also as a bath. Yeah, very nice. Wild onion. You can cook with that, with these. Pick a little bit. I'll put that in the beans. Thank you. So I'm going to preserve the wild onion by tying it loosely. We'll let that dry. It'll get a little stronger as it dries, and then we'll use it in the beans. My grandmother taught me an herb called Alta Misa, high mass which was used in her day to treat fevers. And this altamisa was the very first herb I remember her pointing to with her cane and saying, try me. Look, here's chimaha. Chimaha traditionally is used to flavor beans and field peas. We'll pick some of the leaves for beans because there's plenty. We'll get the big ones. That way the smaller ones feed the root. I don't like to take any of the seed uh, producing parts. And here's some more. It's so nice to us. The chimaha brings out a beautiful sweetness in the beans and the peas. And it's, it's those beautiful flavors of the chimaha, that sweetness and the bitterness that I believe aids the digestion. Mm. That's good stuff. Thank you.